Hello, the audio Jihad is here. In this video, I'm going to teach you sprinklers and fire protection systems in Revit and how we can model them. To model fire protection in Revit, you have to have a base model, which is the architectural model that I have brought into this project. And I have brought also a plan that is designed by a mechanical engineer in here to be able to place our sprinklers and other parts. But before doing anything, you have to know that we have different kind of sprinklers. We have pendant, we have side wall, we have concealed, and also we have upright, which will uh, spray the water at top. I have four sprinkler heads in here, and I have a pipe system too. You can find the files on the internet, or you can get access to all of the accessories files on our Patreon. You can find the link in the description. Now I just uh, load these four sprinkler heads into the project just with dragging them into the project. And now I can go to the system tab and in here you can click on a sprinkler. And now you have the families that you use. For example, let's place some pendant with different uh, information. For example, let's use this one. And now you can place it really easily in here. It is on one mechanical. Let's place one and then we will uh, see it in 3D because the view range is not that great in here. You can see the family in here. Let's put on fine and let's put on shade. Now we have the family in here, but the placement is completely wrong. Let's put on level two. Let's put the front part and let's put the project on wireframe and let's bring the sprinkler to here now this is the sprinkler that i want to place and let's go to the mechanical one and now we can see it and this is the range of this sprinkler if you want to use other sprinklers or other kind of types you have to download them or you have to edit this family but right now let's just select this and let's just copy this from the center of here to here now we have uh, placed all of the pendant uh, sprinkler heads in here you can see them in here we have the sprinklers let's put that on shake it, will, it is better right now and you can see the heads in here or when you put it on wireframe you can see their levels in here and now we can start to place our upright uh, sprinklers too let's go to mechanical one let me just place all of the types that we have in here to see the difference and then i will delete them if we don't uh, want to use them uh, now we have the pentane we have the upright let me place the upright in here let's put on to 60 maybe for example in this side this is the upright and let's place a horizontal side wall too Move on, and we don't have any offset in here, or we can use place on vertical face level one and 2.6. And now we can place it in here, okay? That's fine. I haven't downloaded the consumed one, but you can find it on the internet. Let me select all of these three and let's go to 3D. You can see they are opposite of each other. This is the pendant and this is the upright. And also this is the wall. Default family of Revit doesn't have that much of a detail. Let's go to the sprinkler again and let's use this one that I've downloaded. And let's bring it in here and let's see it in action. And now you can see this is the one that I will place for you and you can use it much better. But let's just delete this and let's place some uh, uprights too. For example, I want to place my uprights at the exact part and in aligned part of these. We don't have any pipes in here. Let's bring it back and it is better to place them in here instead of there. For example, in this part, that's the right part. And now we can copy it from here to here and to here and I will do the thing for all of this and now we have some upright uh, sprinklers too now it's time to give you some example for the pipes in here but uh, when you go to the system 
you will see no uh, specific uh, pipe system for the pipes in here so you can find some files on the internet but or you can uh, use the file that i will put on patreon to use this uh, sprinkler system that we have created before and to bring these families into your project you have to go to the file that you are working in and then you have to go to the manage part and you have to go to the transfer project standard and in here click on check now and I want to bring the standards from sp.rvt project. Now let's check down again and let's go to the pipes. And in here, I want to all of the pipe insulation, pipe schedule type, pipe segment, settings, sizes, types, and system types. Click on OK and it will bring all of the families that we have there. And now let's click on override because if uh, you have some same families and it is better to override them from the project that you're bringing your standards in. Now, when you go, when we go to the systems and pipes again, we will have a new type and we are going to use carbon and steel and fire. Now we have three inches or 75. I'm going to use 80 and for the height, for the lower part, let's put it on 280 and then we can change the height of it. And let's start from here to here. And then we have a smaller pipe. Let's create the pipe to here and then we have a smaller pipe I don't I'm not going to convert all of them by calculator I'm just going to freehand that to here and now let's go here and we have to make it smaller in here let's put down 40 let's go to here and from here let's put it on 30 2 and that's fine the problem is with some snapping that it's doing in here let's select this pipe in here click on drop pipe let's put it on in here or you can press sx and it will turn off the snap in here but it is better to go to the manage tab and snaps you can see we have an option in here which is so which will turn off the snaps for us or we can go to the snap and we can turn all of the snaps now let's go to the pipe again the round pipe and now let's create our pipes again in here and now you can see it is much better and for here i'm going to use 25 and bring it to here and for this side let's use 30 let's create it and then we will change the dimension and now we can select this and we can change the size of it to 30 two now you can see we have a transition in here but the problem is i don't want the transition like this i want this part or this junction to be bigger than this and be the same size with this to be able to achieve that you have to delete that and you have to right click on draw pipe and in here let's put down 32 and let's draw a pipe to this side and now we can align this line with this now we can delete this and then we can click on plus sign in here and now this is the way that i want my pipe in here and now let me just delete this again and now let's create some pipes in here and let's put it on 25 and now we have the right way that we want to place our parts in here let me bring it in here and now let's put it on shaded now we have the one in here i don't want the sprinkler in here and let's create some in here too now we have the pipes in here let's go to the 3d and see their height according to the sprinkler that we have let's go to 3d and let's turn off the section box in here let's press tab to select all of the pipes in here and for the height it is higher than the sprinklers and that's right and i want to have them in here for example that's okay now let's create some other branches and then we will connect them to the sprinkler that we have to add new pipes in here i don't want this sprinkler in here too to add some uh, branches in here uh, you can easily just select one of these press yes for create similar and in here let's select 25 and from this line you can select a you can create a pipe in here if uh, it didn't snap to it don't worry this is for the difference between heights let's just select it 
and let's just create a one pipe in here with the size that we want to here for example now let's align it to the line that we want to place this uh, pipe let's go to the view and let's create a section in here if you can say uh, create section because it is in 3d and let's go to here and we have a section let's bring it into the section and now we have the pipe in here and we have to have this pipe too but the height is not right i think yeah it is on level one we have to go and place the detail level on five we can just copy the number two to middle elevation of this one now that's great now you can go to the level again and you can use uh, extend for these and then you will have the connection in here again if you want the cross in here to be the same size with this you have to play with the connection as we did to here let's just create this size too and then we will continue our work so I'm going to delete this and let's bring it in here and I want to see us from this and for the size I'm going to put 32 in here and let's create it and then we will align it to this part now that's great now let's use tr for this and let's use ex for extend for this one and now we click on plus button in here and now we can draw pipe to this let's put it on 30 25 and now we have the pipe in here and now we have the transition if you want the transition to be bigger you can just change the radius in here so you can easily change it in here so it's there is no problem in this side but it is better to draw it again it will be much easier and now it's time to learn how we can uh, connect these together let me just bring it to here and then you can create some branches in here in this part too but it's enough and you can continue to create this now I just go to the section in here and for example I have this pipe in here so I just select the sprinkler in here and click on draw pipe and now I will bring it up and you can see it is creating the pipe with the connection that this is the sprinkler has for example let's create a draw pipe in here and you can see this is the uh, the pipe is the same with the connection that is defined in the sprinkler but if you want to make it smaller you can do it but it is on 50 so it's not that big uh, or you can edit the family or you can do whatever you want with the pipe or you can go and add different sizes in here. let's just uh, use ex for extend and let's extend these two and now we have the sprinkler like this and in here if you want to uh, if you don't have any other sprinklers in here you can delete this and you can select this part and you can click on minus and it will transfer this to an elbow and it will be much better and let's create the pie for here too and now we can use ex for extend now that's the right thing that we have now if you have some for example upright uh, spring layers you can add them too let's go to the system click on a spring layer and let's uh, select the upright in here and let's place an upright in here for the snaps let's put the snaps and let's turn on turn on the snaps again because we need them in here and uh, let's put the system again as a spring layer upright now we can place it really easily and let's put the elevation on 260 and then 290 and then we can change let's place it in here and uh, let's see it in section you can see we have the sprinkler in here let's bring it upper or we can bring this line a little bit lower and then if they are at the same axis you can easily in section create some pipes in here for example draw pipes and bring it down and then you can use ex for extend and you can connect it very easily just like that and that said you just need to repeat this for every part of the project on every sprinkler that you have and then you will have your sprinklers in your project and you can then clash detection and do anything you want and also if you want to learn docworks in revit you can watch the video that i will put the link on the screen in there you can learn all of the uh, tips about Docworks in Revit.